Where should I land it? Anywhere? Him. I've tried a dozen different times to catch muskie in a dozen different places, and I've never been able to connect. Just before I throw in the towel, I remember something my grandpa used to say. It was one of his favorite phrases. It was real simple. It was just never, ever give up. I've been fishing all my life. There are photos of me as a toddler sleeping on a pile of life jackets in my great grandfather's boat. Uh, I taught myself how to fly cast, to tie flies, to basically do everything humanly possible to put the odds in my favor whenever I'm fishing. Since then I've been able to work with some of the best in the business and even write a book. Now I have two boys of my own and I can already tell you that the apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. My name is Jason Stewart. I guide for muskie and smallmouth bass in northern Wisconsin. The world record muskie craze back in the 1940s and 50s is how Hayward got to be named a muskie capital. Uh, fast forward 70 years, people still come up here, try and catch muskies. Just need some fish to eat some of these things. We'll be in business. I think that lends some credibility to still be called a muskie capital today. The other great thing about Hayward, Wisconsin is the abundance of public access to water. And the ability to literally get off the grid around every corner. Uh, I'm a big fan of DIY adventures, so I always look at that angle first before I travel anywhere. And I can honestly say that if you're feeling a little eager before you meet your guide or maybe you didn't book a guide at all, there are countless places that you can explore at your own pace. And, and try your hand at catching one of these tough fish for as long as you can stand the frost on your fingertips. Um, it's, it's really amazing if you think about it. There are maybe a handful of people in the musky fly fishing circle that really know what they're doing. And I'm lucky because Jason happens to be one of those guys. See, that's turning on all right, man. No, we're for fly number one. Catching one of these fish is so rare. It takes years to build the sort of knowledge a good angler needs to be able to coach another angler into hooking one for themselves. Some good casts on this wood we got coming up, Ben. Yeah, we got a nice series of logs coming up. These muskies are kind of ambush predators. And they can camouflage themselves really well in this wood structure. There you go. See if you can get me a good cast kind of right in the meat of it. Perfect. Let's work the end of the wood a little bit too. Come out of there. Set, set. Yeah, I think you got it, man. Fly casting uh, is tough enough on its own. Oh, as soon as we get here, the wind blows. As soon as I pick up the stinking rod. The level of complexity increases when you start talking about heavy rods and big flies. My hands are falling off. I got weeds. When you add the element of cold, you're basically asking your extremities to do things they don't want to do. I can't win. And if you're not catching fish, you honestly begin wondering what the hell you're doing out there in the first place. To say catching a monster muskie on the fly has become a bucket list goal would probably be an understatement. Fish, 
never ever give up. Whoa. Way to go, Ben. <laughs> Woo! Hand under the belly. Oh my gosh. Am I clear? Ready? Oh man. Fishing with him. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, man. You bet. Really appreciate it. That was great. Two hands, too, man. Man, that's a good one. Got them both.